hello guys in this video i am going to show you how to install the latest version of semantic manager version 5.7 so siemens has released step 7 professional 2021 uh, so i have downloaded the package uh, which is an uh, iso file if you want to download this package then uh, command your email id i'll send you the link so right now uh, before installing the software you should uh, disable your antivirus okay so then only you can install your software without any problems maybe antivirus antivirus restricts some of the functions from the insertion package so you should better uh, disable your antivirus okay so now uh, before that you need to uh, restart your system otherwise the package will ask to restart your system whenever you install the siemens uh, software uh, you need to restart your system so without doing anything you need to uh, start the setup otherwise again it will ask to uh, restart your system so now i'm going to mount the iso file so i have mounted here so these are all the setup files so in this we can find uh, readme readme file in this readme file you can find the hardware and software requirements okay so see um, i think this is not one i'll close it yeah here it is readme so in this readme in this readme file you can find the hardware and software equipments software equipment is uh, step 7 professional 2020 can be 21 can be used with the following operating systems ms windows 10 pro enterprise 64 bit uh, windows server 2016 windows server 2019 so this all are comes under 64 bit you cannot install this software in 32 bit based systems okay see uh, siemens is saying step 7 professional has not been tested on any other operating systems use at your own risk okay so in this following operating systems only they have tested their software okay if you want to use this software in uh, other than these oss then you can install it but uh, at your own risk you can use it maybe some of the functions won't work okay so that's why they are saying like this so for the hardware i, I will i will recommend you the 4 gb minimum ram and uh, 5 gb the minimum space or disk space okay so if it, if it's an 8 gb then it will be good to run your software it will run smooth okay okay now we'll run the setup here you can find the setup just double click on the setup file it will ask yes or no you just give the yes okay now the setup is preparing to install the application okay choose your language i'm going i'm continuing with english click next accept the conditions and uh, license agreements click next okay see here you can find step 7 pct on the delivery data medium under optional components so this is mean uh, pct is a port configuration tool if you want to uh, install a user uh, uh, use the port configuration tool so that so that you can find this option in optional components step 7 pct so you have to go there then you can uh, run the setup on here in this location okay suppose if you want to use pct okay click next see uh, these are all the uh, components i'm going to install in this package so already these packages are installed because i have already installed on my system so i have uninstalled now installing for uh, uh, making the video purpose so i'm just installing step 7 version 5.7 so if you install this version this will uh, install including plc simulator scl web to plc block privacy and automation license manager so if you if you're installing as a new then all the packages will be installed so you, you don't need to worry about that okay so i'm just clicking next accept click next okay so this is step zone version 5.7 uh it's occupying thousand 362 mb uh, which is 
3 GB we can say so it will take 20 minutes estimated installation time so click install click next click next here you can use any any of your name username organization and then okay now click install that's it now setup is starting to install maybe it will take uh, 15 to 20 minutes so you should wait uh, that time okay so memory card parameter assignment interface is none you just click okay okay now our setup was successfully installed um, after installing you should restart your computer okay so then only you can take the effects uh, otherwise maybe if you if you open the software without restarting the computer maybe it will give some malfunction so you better restart your system after the software installation not only for this for every software installation you should restart your system okay so uh, now I'm, I'm going to restart my system then i'll open the software okay i i just restarted my system so now i'm opening semantic manager here So click OK. See in help uh, there is a hub board. Here you can find the version has changed version 5.7. So I will put next video like uh, what's the, what are the new functions in steps on version 5.7. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if if you like this video, then share share this video with your friends.